Throw up your rock fist if you're feeling it when I drop this. Hey guys, gonna make a video response to John Wayne Colt's 45's uh, favorite knife videos. Uh, I'm new to the community, so just wanted to you know get some more videos out there. So I figured this would be a good one, a uh, good first video response to something, because I'm, I'm really enjoying this community and uh, hope y'all will take me in with open arms. But um, I just want to give a little video response on my favorite knife. Um, what I got here is. Um, Kind of broke it up into my categories. These are my work EDCs, my everyday, everywhere I go, uh, off work, and then some others. Um, first of all, we'll go off my first two. Uh, the first one, um, I kind of can't have a favorite out of these two, but these, this one is one of my favorites. Is the uh, Spyderco Meerkat and the Sprint Run with the bluish FRN handles and the VG10 steel, which is one of the reasons I bought this versus the other one. I mean, it was the same price, where I could find that everywhere on the web, so. When I have a, something a little different, um, I love this little blade for work. Um, I don't need a big blade at work, so you know, a small little sharp blade, perfect. Um, I love the colors of the handles because everything else pretty much I have is black. Um, you know, and then I get the upgrade in steel versus the uh, standard black Meerkat, um, and I love the lock on this thing. Um, it's funny to whip out this knife, you know, lock it back, and then say, hey try to, you know, shut it. And I had a guy, one of the guys I worked with, 10 minutes the other day, get figured out. So, you know, I love the Phantom Lock. Um, and this is just a great little knife. Try to do a review on that one later. Uh, my other work EDC is a, a Victorinox um, Pioneer. Love this knife. Um, now, granted, this one's in black, and I got this one black for the sole purpose of having a different color. Because uh, most of your Victorinox sack knives uh, are either red or silver, so I'd love to have it in blue like the farmer comes in, but you know I didn't, you know, want to spend extra money on the farmer, so I got the Pioneer, which is everything I need: can opener, bottle opener, large blade, and all. Um, love this little knife for carrying around work. Um, just, just a slicer. Good, good knife. Now this knife goes with me everywhere I go. At work, off work, it's my backup blade. This is a Benchmade 530 Pardue. Uh, you know, several of you guys have this knife, and I will just say, this sucker right here is the best slicer ever. Uh, I cut um, a watermelon open from my little girl the other day, and this thing just sliced right through it like it was nothing. Also, I mean, extremely thin, like 1.8 ounces with such a large blade. Um, you know, I just really love this knife. It's my backup knife. I'm thinking if I ever got into a defensive situation, which I hope I never do, because if I've gotten that close, what did I do wrong? Um, this would be, a, you know, an excellent one. Um, but and I love the axis lock on on, on all the uh, Benchmade knives. This is just probably my favorite knife out of every one of them. Uh, my next one I've only had for you know like a day. It's this Spyderco Native. Uh, got it from a uh, used from a I remember on, on Blade Forms, traded him my Chicago, just didn't really like the Chicago, just a little small for me. And uh, he polished the clip on it, so I'll probably end up getting me a new clip because I want it all black. So it kind of blends in with my scrubs when I'm carrying it at work. But um, if I you know, try to carry this at work, got to do some EDC and I figure out if I like this one or not. But this is just a, so far it's a great little knife. I'm not really wild about the pin construction, but the, the blade shape really intrigues me. Uh, this and the Spyderco Captain, which I hope to find one one day, is just just odd shaped blades that I really like. But um, so far, nice, you know, light little knife, love it. Um, and then my everyday carry, usually when I'm not at work, is this knife right here. I had both. I had Tenacious and the Persistence, and well, the Persistence won out. Ended up trading the uh, Tenacious off for a uh, and some other stuff for a Max Edition Fat Boy. Um, but I really just like the shorter, fatter blade of the persistence. And if you, I don't know if you can see, let me get a little extra light from my flashlight here. But I got a little bored and decided to color the handle on this knife, and it's a nice blue color. Eh, I just got bored and figured, you know, hey, I don't like all these black handled scales, so I'll try this out. And I think it turned out pretty well. Um, you know, if it ends up, you know, not to my liking, I can always just buy another one in black um, or try to strip these what have you, but, you know, I really, really like this knife, and, you know, for a $30 knife, you just can't beat this knife. I've never seen too many, you know, so many 
thirty dollar knife just be this well built um, and you know cut so good, hold the edge so well. Good knife. Now my last one is my fav one of my favorite nails. Um, um, my last one here is one of my favorites so far, um, but you know, don't know how much longer I'll have it manually because oh, I just sold it. Uh, I got to ship this sucker out tomorrow, but you know, this is the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary. Um, I got this knife. It was a really fun knife. I just don't carry it. Uh, yeah, I got it. I played with it for a little while. I never cut anything with it because it's super sharp. It's like they always come, but. I try to put it in my pocket and it just doesn't carry well so I've decided to sell it and I've got to get you know this one out tomorrow and get paid uh, fellow youtuber uh, zip of this nice that uh, I have bought his uh, or told him I was gonna pay him for um, his USN or Enduro which I really really want I really I don't like I'm gonna be like edge weapon and some of these other guys around here I hate Rated edges, but that knife is just so cool and that toxic green. Um, one knife I had, did have up here that I didn't want to throw in the collection is the Spyderco S, mainly because I can't call it one of my favorite knives, even though I think it's a really cool knife, because I am in the pr process of thinking of trading this one. Um, I really are selling it because I really, really, really want one of those full flat ground uh, Enduras in blue. Not Enduras, but Delicas. I'm sorry, Delicas in blue. Uh, I want the shorter, you know, bladed one. Uh, so I'm thinking about selling or trade, trying to trade this one on blade forms or something for one of those blue full flat ground uh, Delicas because those things are just sexy and i got to have one. But, uh, you know, there's my little collection, guys. Uh, my favorite knife. Hope you enjoyed it and um, see you later.